decided to do it all month long. You'll see me live my life every day of June. So get ready to be bored, cause this is Floon. Oh wow, what's on your nose, baby? Come here, can I see? <gasps> Thank you, oh there's pollen on that, and there's, um, you've been smelling the flower? Oh, he's so sweet, he loves to bring me flowers after his walk with his dad in the morning, and apparently he likes to smell those flowers and get the pollen all over his nostrils. Here, Flynn, will you show them what I'm talking about? Here you go. You showing them your tracks? Are those all your tracks? <gasps> Lovey, your squirrel house has been demolished. Eric made a squirrel house yesterday out of Legos. And an unscheduled demolition has occurred. Oh no. They tore it apart. Holy smokes. Did you do that? They literally took apart every single piece. Well, they destroyed it, that's for sure. Oh, Nana? Yeah, you wanna get this cool some more, Nana? Uh, uh. Baby, baby. This morning, Eric planted my sunflowers with Flynn. Here's that footage. You want to bury this sunflower for Mama? You want to plant it? Let's do it! I hope they'll grow too. Hear that while I was sleeping. And now Flynn is obsessed with watering things. So this is the current situation in the backyard. stuff to do with a toddler, so I've just filled up some bowls with water and soap. And we're just gonna play in some water. Oh, there's bubbles. You see the bubbles? <laughs> Is that funny? Wow! <laughs> wow! Can you put one of your dar dars in it? <laughs> Good job, you put in water in the dar dar? Oh, very nice, very nice. Yeah, very nice. bowls of soapy water that entertain him. I guess that's what we'll be doing for as long as it will entertain him, which will probably be five minutes. 
things have escalated. I wanted him to enjoy something that was like sensory, you know, play. So I put some Cheerios in some water so he could feel it and he thought that was cool. And then Eric threw bananas in the mix and then there's noodles and trucks. There's a lot happening now. So <laughs> at first it was just water and soap and now there's, we've got some Cheerios and a dump truck. We've got some heart-shaped noodles and um, he's right now organizing dinner and he's, he's putting the noodles inside of the big soapy water and he's been, I don't, I don't know why Eric threw the, oh, uh, 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 no, 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 don't eat that. No, 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 <laughs> you have to open it. You wanna open it? See, we have to take the banana out of the peel. There you go. That probably tastes better, huh? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah. <laughs> what? The banana peels in there? <laughs> yeah, yummy. Coco? Coco's upstairs. Yeah, Coco's upstairs. You don't need to talk about it. It's not something I need to talk about. <laughs> yes, it is, can I? I just want to say what you said. <laughs> so, Eric farted. <laughs> and it smells really bad. I'm pretty far from him right now. <laughs> I was like, did you <laughs> fart? And he goes, yeah, it's really bad. <laughs> <laughs> like turned and he goes, yeah, it's really bad. And I was like, I was like, yeah, it's bad. He goes like, like, I don't like it at all. <laughs> Which was just the funniest reaction to your own fart I've ever seen, I think. Like your reaction was so funny. Anyway, I'm making cookies. <laughs> Wait, did you say do people like their own farts? At the smell? Like a, not like a, like a good way, but like it's interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I guess there's like a familiarity to it, so it's like a, it's a respect. No, it's like a, it's like a, it's like a, um, it's familiar. It's not that it's good. It's just like, oh, that's my scent. <laughs> I find enjoyment when I fart and it smells and people go, oh. <laughs> That makes me laugh and that makes me happy. Like my family has always made fun of me for like how much I enjoy watching other people <laughs> smell a fart. Like they've always been like, Colleen will never be able to have a silent fart and get away with it because I immediately start laughing at the thought of someone smelling it. What? Oh, don't you come for me. <gasps> I'm making cookies. Are you surprised? They're almost done. I didn't have the oven on hot enough though. They didn't cook correctly. Anyway, that's our evening. Speaking. Too much cheese. Too much cheese. We had uh, Italian for dinner, so it was very cheesy and delicious and farty. Oh my goodness, my fingers are bleeding. Ew, I just like sucked on a bloody finger on camera. I feel like that's really gross. And now you guys are all gonna think like I'm a really weird gross vampire. But it's bleeding, like what do you do when it's like bleeding? Do you know what I mean? I don't know, tell me in the comments below. If you have like blood on your finger, I mean I'm sure you like wash it and like <laughs> Use a tissue. <laughs> oh my god, I'm disgusting. So, um, I finally got these, some things printed off. So obviously I'm in the process of redoing my office. And as you guys know, I redid my closet. We have this little gallery wall of Miranda. I got new shelving stuff over here. And I bought a new thing that's gonna go where this wood thing is. And I bought a new couch, but that's not gonna be here for like a freaking month because I guess couches take forever to send to someone. Um, but I need to redo this whole section over here where this Miss Miranda is. Most people who have accomplished things in their lives display those things, and I'm really bad at that. You know, Eric put all this together for me. I was like, oh, why do you put all that stuff on the wall? And I was like, oh, this is stuff that was like hidden in my closet, like my million plaques and my self-help, like number one bestseller thingy and my haters back off poster and all that stuff. He did all that. So I was like, oh, maybe I should, since it's my office, I'm, I'm like weird about putting things on display just like in the house where people are. For me personally, I feel like people would walk in my house and be like, she's bragging. I don't like it. So if you ever like in the vlogs see like things displayed of mine around the house, I did not put it there. Like sometimes Corey will put stuff up or Eric will and it usually gets taken down at some point because I get embarrassed. Um, but in my office, I'm like, okay, it's okay if I like show off some stuff, I guess, because this is where I work and this is an office makes sense. Anyway, why am I explaining? 
this, who cares? So I got some stuff printed for the wall. And what I wanna do is I wanna make a long list of every city I've toured to and put tons of pictures of all my different tours. But I don't really know how to do that because I've literally toured to hundreds of places over the last, maybe even up to a thousand, I don't even know, over the last decade. And I had my agent send me a list of every city I've toured to since I've been with him, which has been six years, something like that. So I was touring a lot before I met my agent on my own, like I just booked myself places. So I don't even have a list of those places, but even the list he sent me, I was like, <laughs> I have toured so freaking much, way more than I thought. So if I did a whole list of like every place I've toured to, it would fill the wall. And obviously if I took pictures from every place I've toured to, I'd need another house. I need to figure out how I wanna do that. Like maybe I'll just find one photo of me performing and like have the list of cities around. I don't know, I need to figure it out. But um, I printed out some other things that have been exciting in my career on these like canvas prints. So this is from my Netflix special, my comedy special. That's what that is from Waitress when I did a Broadway. But see, even these, like, it's like, I don't feel like this shows that I did anything. It's just like a photo. So I'm like, should I frame the playbill and put the playbill on the wall? But I'm not on the cover of the playbill. My headshot's inside the playbill. So I don't really know how to do it. Like, I don't know. I don't know. But for right now, I have this picture of me and Todrick from Waitress. I have this photo of me and Jerry Seinfeld from when I did Comedians and Cars Getting Coffee with him. I have my cartoon of me in Wreck-It Ralph too where they literally made an animated version of me which is just so cool like i still can't believe that's real escape the night um my picture from season four i was in season three and season four but spoiler alert i won season four don't tell joey i said this actually he already knows but i loved both seasons so much i love being on the show it was one of the most fun experiences ever but season three was like oh my god that was my it was so Fun! Season three was amazing. Season four was fun too, but season three was like everything. But I won season four, so when I had to pick which poster to print out, I chose season four, because I won. Spoiler alert. I just ruined it for anyone who hasn't seen it. I also printed out this. I don't know why I printed this out. I think because this was like a really exciting moment in my career. This is my first time on Jimmy Fallon, and there's Martin Short and Jimmy Fallon and Jerry Seinfeld and me. So it's like these three comedic legends, like these three incredible men who are just such comedic geniuses. And my random... Like one of these things is not like the other. One of these things does not belong and it is me. And I just think that's such a funny image. Like these iconic comedians that everyone knows and then my weird body in between them. Like it looks, doesn't look real. And it was my first time on a talk show. It was my first time around like really huge celebrities like that in a scenario like that. Like this was a crazy experience. Like um, Jerry asked me to be on Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee and that was a cool, wonderful, incredible experience. It was so nice, like the coolest guy ever. And then called me one day and was like, hey, do you wanna be on uh, Jimmy Fallon with me on Monday? And I think it was like a Thursday, like I had a couple days and I was like, yes, are you serious? He's like, all right, cool, yeah, um, all right. Uh, we'll get everything sorted, I'll see you Monday. And I was like, what? Like, it was so crazy. So like a few days later, I flew to New York and was on Jimmy Fallon for the first time. And it's just one of the coolest, most special memories of my life. I just, I hate myself. I'm like, I don't know why I printed this picture out. And then I just explained like the most detail about why this was such a special moment. So obviously that's why I printed it out. Oh my God, why am I, who cares? And then I printed out this, which was my character in Angry Birds 2. I actually voiced, my voice is all over this film. So yes, this is my character in that movie. Um, this is what it looks like, but her name is Roxanne the bird. Jojo's in that movie too. Jojo C and I did a movie together, oh my God. But <laughs> my voice is all over this film. So if you watch Angry Birds 2, when I went in to record, I recorded my part and then they're like, can we have you say snooze alert? and they'd like have me say random stuff in the microphone. I was like, okay. So I just like said a bunch of stuff and it's all over. So like whenever you hear like a bunch of people like kind of talking or someone shouting something, but you don't see them, like a lot of the time it is my voice. So that was what was weird about watching that movie is I knew that was my character, but there were a bunch of times in the movie where I was just like, I just heard my voice, but like I wasn't, my character wasn't on the screen. It was just like random. Anyway, I don't know. I just told you all that. Here are the canvases. So I'm gonna put them on the wall somehow, but I don't know how, and I need to figure out if there's anything else from my life that I want printed out. 
for my career. So like I want to print out the season two poster because that's the season one poster over there. So I need to print out season two, but I want it to be big like that so it matches. I'm on the cover of another magazine that is Variety, but I'm on the cover of this other one that I want to print out. And I want to frame my other book because that's my first book, but my second book isn't framed. What am I forgetting in my career? I'm sure I'm forgetting something that you guys are going to be like, why didn't you put a picture of this? So I got those today and I was trying to figure out how I want to organize it, but I'm really bad at that kind of stuff. I'll figure that out tomorrow. I love you guys and thank you for watching this video and I hope you have a fabulous day. Whatever time of day it is, I'm going to edit and go to bed.